Hold up, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, you know, something has really been bothering me about the perception of our political state in this country. And that problem is this. Everybody seems to want to blame Obama for everything, or everybody wants to seem to blame the Republicans for everything. Now, let's analyze this for a second, okay? First of all, Obama. He came into the worst financial crisis ever, all right? I don't know how people expect him to just magically fix all the shit that was wrong with the country in a span of less than, what, three years? We need to really curve our expectations of one person, all right? Some of his things hasn't worked, and some of the things that he's done I may not have agreed with, but being a little realistic, there's no fucking way that he could fix everything wrong with this country in three years, okay, in less than three years. Give the guy a little break. On top of that, you have to understand, this is a global economy that we're living in, okay? He can't fix the world, all right? We're in a global recession, okay? The whole fucking entire globe, for the most part, is in a recession, okay? We're all going to feel the pain. We're all going to feel, you know, the burden of everything suffering, okay? He can't fix everything. Now, granted, I know some people are like, well, he lied about this and that, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. I understand that. But, again, let's keep reality in focus when we're analyzing the job that he's doing. Okay, he's not perfect. He's not going to solve all the problems at one time. Okay, people, come on now. You know, give the guy a little slack. Let him do his job. All right, on the Republicans. Now, personally, I'm nothing. I just want to establish that, okay? I'm not Democrat, I'm not Republican, I'm not neither one, all right? I'm super independent, okay? I'm independent of everybody, okay? I'm independent of the independents, all right? But I have to agree with the Republicans on one thing, okay? Everybody keeps saying that the Republicans don't care about the poor, they want to take away all their benefits, you know? They want to take away welfare, they want to take away Medicaid, they want to take care of Social Security, you know, they just want to screw everybody. All right. And this is my personal opinion on this, okay? Obviously with welfare, if you ever watched any of my videos before, you know I fucking hate welfare, okay? If you can work, get your monkey ass out there and work. It is not the government's job to take care of you, okay? I'm sorry. You should not be dependent on the government to put food on your table and a roof over your head. Get your lazy ass up and get a fucking job, okay? Now, I understand it's a little recession, but if you gotta work two bullshit jobs to make ends meet, you do what you gotta do. Sorry, that's, I hate that shit. Two, Medicare and Medicaid. Now, I understand that, you know, old people need Medicare and Medicaid. I understand that completely. But a lot of people on Medicare and Medicaid, again, they can get a job, okay? I'm sorry, not everybody on Medicare or Medicaid is handicapped. Not everybody is disabled, okay? A lot of them can work. They just choose not to, okay? You have people on Medicare and Medicaid who is like 800 fucking pounds, okay? Lose some weight, you fat ass. Get a job, all right? Honestly, it irritates me this, you know, feeling like we're just old shit because we live in America or we live in the United States. No! Okay, we have to earn it. And I'm sorry, from where I came up and the way I was brought up, you earn your shit, okay? You just don't go and fill out paperwork and expect to receive a handout. So if the Republicans want to stop that shit, hey, I'm all for it. Now, Social Security, it's kind of a, you know, touchy subject for me. Just for the, I'm sorry, a difficult subject for me because I understand we all put into it. You know, if you work, you put into it. If you didn't work, you didn't put into it, obviously, okay? On a side note, I've always find it funny how people will post and shit on their Facebook about, you know, the government is trying to take out Social Security. Okay, bitch, you don't have a job. You have no Social Security. Okay, shut the fuck up. Again, sorry. I digress. If you work, you put into it. You should expect to get that money out when you turn a certain age. And everybody's saying, you know, well, Republicans, they're just trying to do away with everything. Okay, two things to that. One... It wasn't just the Republicans taking money out of Social Security. It was Democrats as well. So if you want to blame the Social Security mess on anybody, blame it on the entire fucking government, because they're all at fault. Two, the Republicans, in my opinion, are just being realistic. There is no fucking money. We can't pay something that we don't have, all right? 
And I understand, you put into it, you want your money back out, and I get it. But if there's no money there, you can be pissed at the whole government, but you can be pissed at the people who are trying to be realistic and say, dude, we don't have the money. And I understand, you know, people will, well, you know, they need to find the money, they need to get the money. From where? Okay? As far as I understand it, about 40% of America does not work. That means 40% of Americans are not putting any money in Social Security. On top of, we get nothing from our exports, okay? There's no kid in Japan going up to his mom like, Mom, I just turned 18. Can I get a Ford Focus? No! They don't want that shit. They just don't. We don't even make our own fucking flags. All our flags are made in China. Nothing we export anybody wants. Therefore, we have no real income coming in from other countries that can sustain us at all. On top of, oh, the whole fucking world is broke right now, so that even puts more of a damper on it. So if we don't have the money to pay it, what do you expect them to do? We're going further, further in debt as it is. You want to go for more in debt just because you want your Social Security? Now again, I understand it's really fucked up and... They have, you know, you should be fair because you put into it, you should be able to take out of it. But if they don't have the money, don't blame the Republicans for being realistic and saying, fuck it, we don't have it. What do you want us to do? Now, I understand, oh, I'm sorry, let me explain it this way. Let me break it down. You can't blame one individual for the mess that we're in. You can't blame one group for the mess that we're in. Okay, if you want to blame all of Washington, fuck it, go for it. It's the Democrats' fault, it's the Republicans' fault, it's Obama's fault, but put them all in the same category. Stop trying to make one side the victim and the other side the hero, because they're not. All right, we're all in the same boat, and honestly, Congress right now, Obama right now, they're not doing enough. And uh, that's just my opinion, they're not doing enough, okay? It's so much shit out here that's wrong, they need to do more, but they need to do it wise. They need to do it smart. They need to do it in a way where it actually works, okay? Throwing billions of dollars into the, you know, economy or whatever the case may be, that may be a patch, but it doesn't fix. It happened with the first stimulus, okay? The shit didn't work, all right? It's just, only thing I'm asking people, be realistic with your expectations and honestly look at it from the standpoint of, you can't blame just one group. They're all they just are, alright? And honestly, if it was me, what I would do to fix this whole thing, because I'm sure you want to know, fucking fire all of them. Right now, oh, okay, I got the numbers. We pay Congress over $100 million a year. And what are they doing? Absolutely nothing. You know what I would do? I would put one guy in a room with a fucking typewriter, let him type up some shit, and we're good. We just, we just make it the way we make it. Because right now, we're doing the exact same thing anyway. We just gotta listen to these assholes on TV talk about how they're gonna make everything better and nothing happens. Alright, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.